But if you don't wear a crown, you'll end up at one of the 197 departure gates, where you may meet new Border Force dog, Henry. Oh, good boy, give me it, give me it. And his handler, Border Force Dave. Today, Henry is hoping to impress. Sniffing the passengers at the gate, he's looking for one thing and one thing only. So Henry here is trying to find large quantities of money, so that's what we're hoping to find. He's off already. Criminal gangs often try and take large quantities of cash out of the country to fund illegal activities. It's Henry's job to identify them before they get on the plane. He's a customs dog, OK? He's trying to find money. Do you have any money yeah, here money, in the back? Yeah. And how much money is it? 3000 3000 Yes! Good boy, good boy. Can we have a look in the bag, please? Cash dogs are able to smell the ink on banknotes. Thank you. Just let me check your hand luggage, please. Any large quantities found will be investigated by Border Force officers. I'm happy with what you're carrying and where it's come from. I've seen your online uh, statements as well, right? Henry is off to a good start, but he isn't the only new boy trying to impress today. Is it taken out of a bank, is it? Yeah. It is. And can I see the receipt, please? Thank you. Border Force Sam joined the team just seven months ago and is fresh out of school. It's almost like playing a game of chess with someone. If they're trying to tell you a story that's not legitimate, you've got to figure out what is right, what makes sense. You've got to think what you'd do yourself. If you wouldn't go to Dubai with £80,000, why would someone else? All right, so there's your passport. Okay. Yep, have a safe flight, OK? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank okay, you. Bye. bye. Thank you. Today, they're sniffing out passengers heading to Dubai. Good evening, how are you? You can have a little sniff around your luggage, just fine. Just carry on. It's a known route for trafficking money for criminal activity. Historically, and especially of late, over the last few months, there's been quite a lot of cash fines, detections and seizures going out to Dubai, so it's quite a hot destination at the moment. Hello, folks, come in. It's coming. Good boy. See you, come. OK, just cut down. Stop there, mate. Stop there for a second. Do you have any money with you in your bag? Yes. And how much is in here? I've got the hand there. 1500 Yes. Okay, do you have any other money other than that? Yes. Just, okay. Yes, good boy. Okay, do you want to pick your bag up? Just carry on round. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir, can you check the gentleman's bag when he comes around, please? Yeah. Where are you going? Dubai? Okay. And the money, is it your money, yeah? Yes. It's your money, okay. Have you got a bank receipt? Can I just see the receipt? Yes, please. Can you take it out? So how much is there? 1500 Yes. You sure there's not more there? No. He says fifteen hundred. Could you show the money? Show that it's fifteen hundred dollars. He says. That's more than fifteen hundred. That's what I said. Come on, this is more than fifteen hundred. Even look at the receipt. That's what I'm saying. Look at this. These are all hundreds. This, sir, is not fifteen hundred. How much is this? Tell us the truth. How much is this? If you're not in any trouble. With the flight due to depart in 15 minutes, this man won't be travelling anywhere until officers Rani and Sam are satisfied the money is his. Is it your money? Is this your yes, money? Yes. Why do you not know how much is in there? Um, if that was my money, I'd know how much is in there. You've got no idea how much money's in there, do you? But over in Terminal 3, a passenger is being delayed by Border Force because he's carrying five and a half thousand unexplained dollars. Um, he's got some in his bag in the jeans pocket. Border Force Sam and Rani are quizzing him about his finances with the help of another passenger who speaks English. I've got some money under you. So wallet and the bird. So $1,500 has become 5500 the passenger earns just £200 a week, and they are concerned the money may be the proceeds of crime. I just don't understand how he can save £750 a month when he's wearing nice new Timberlands, he's got good bag, good clothes. He's taken £3,500 the last time he went out, and he's also paying for his own ticket. I can't see how it's added up. He's speaking to Intel about it. We need to set the ball rolling, don't we? OK. He's, yeah, he's adamant it's his money. It might be. Anyway, just tell him that we're just doing some checks. Um, if everything comes up OK, then he can go with his money. But if he gets anything, then we may seize the money. Do you want to tell him he can take a seat down there? The Border Force officers now have to run background checks in order to establish if the passenger is on record for any criminal activity. So if he, has this guy got bags? Because I'm going to get a delay otherwise. The flight goes in five minutes. He's just, he, yeah, this one so should be to okay to go. James? 
Yeah. We've got five minutes. Now we can either give you the details now or we can email them to your inbox. It's up to you. It's legal for anyone to take up to £10,000 out of the country without declaring it. But if Border Force suspect the money's earned illegally, they can seize anything over a grand. So we're running out of time now, so we've really got to... Because if you're going to process this, we need to work now. Right, OK. Let me have a word with uh, James and we'll get back to you. I need to know if he's going to go, otherwise I've got his bags off. Yeah, we're waiting for the decision. OK. Uh, I need to be told, otherwise I'm going to have a deal. Yeah, I'm we'll on my flight. You know, as soon as we, we we're going five minutes. We've told them that. We've told them that. With the clock ticking, this passenger's fate is hanging in the balance. Yeah, I need to know who he is. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. OK, 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 OK. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Oh, God, the man. Calm down. It's OK, it's fine, it's fine. Just, just... Yeah. At the 11th hour, information comes through that the passenger has no criminal record. Now all the officers have to decide is whether the money will be used unlawfully. If we take his money off him, that might land him fairly badly in it. Yeah. Our personal view is that I don't think a referral's the right thing to do here. I mean, from his face, you can see he's not, you know, he's, he's really scared. Yeah. OK, hold on, no, no, he's going. OK, change, change. Go, 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 go. With the law allowing you to carry up to 10 grand abroad and no hard evidence to show any criminal activity, just follow me. the passenger is allowed to keep his money. We're here to help. I know a lot of people say we just take people's stuff, we're, we're just annoying. There's that aspect of things. When it comes to someone like him, it just it didn't seem like the right thing to do.